Hello everyone and welcome to our Oklahoma Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you all here for this session. We have five great institutions here to share a little bit more about what each of them do. Uh, I do want to make sure that you understand the format for the session and also how to ask questions. So we have five institutions. Each will have six minutes apiece to uh, tell you a little bit more about their institution. And then we'll have a little bit of time perhaps for some Q&A at the end. Uh, but we want to make sure that you submit those questions. So know that we might not get to questions live, uh, but we will have each of our college representatives typing answers to questions throughout the session as well. Send your questions in through that Q&A button that you see at the bottom of your screen. Uh, so don't be afraid of that. You'll, I'll remind you about it throughout the session. Don't forget about that Q&A. Uh, your camera and microphone are off and they'll remain off for the whole session. So that Q&A is really the best way to interact with our college representatives this evening. I do want to make a quick reminder that we do have additional sessions in the coming days. So feel free to check those out and sign up for some others and that we're recording this session and that that recording will be available online uh, in the coming days as well. Uh, but with that, we'll go ahead and kick things off and we'll send things to our first institution, which is the University of Oklahoma. Sorry, forgive me, I was muted. Good evening, everyone. I'm incredibly excited to be here with you all today um, and also to be sharing the stage with my, my good friend and colleague, Joel Wilson. So I will be as brief as possible. Ultimately, uh, what we wanna tell you all is that more than anything, uh, our, our team is unbelievably excited to get to partner with you and these other institutions to try and make this college admissions process as transparent as possible. We think there's a lot of wonderful things about OU, just like there's every institution you're looking at. And so ultimately the end game for us is how can we equip you as you go throughout this next year to figure out what's going to be the right fit for you as you figure out, hey, where am I spending the next four years? And so uh, a little bit about OU is we have three different ways that you can our campus. Um, and so these three different applications, the OU application strictly goes to OU. You can also, we accept the common application and the coalition application. The benefit here with these two is that these applications can go to other institutions as well. And so that way you're not having to duplicate efforts if maybe you're applying to five, six, or seven different colleges. And we get a lot of questions about, okay, well, this is my GPA. This is my standardized test score. You know, am I admissible? And Ultimately, a very good news. The last thing we want is for a student to think, hey, all you are is a number or a set of numbers with our application process. We have a holistic admissions process where we look at your academic portfolio and we are test optional this year and for the next five years. And my, my friend Joel is going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, so you can submit a test score. You don't have to. Uh, we look at your GPA. We look at the rigor of your classes. But outside of academics, we also look at your extracurriculars. What are you doing in the community? And we'll also evaluate your essay and letters of recommendation. And it'll be a team of, of us who are reading through all of those different pieces, because ultimately we want to ensure that you're supported. We all know, you know, every student has a different area that they excel. And um, we very much want to ensure that the student body at OU is well-rounded uh, in, in all of these different facets that we look at. And so we're also a large public research institution. Surprise, we're, we're kind of a big, big school. We've got 22,000 undergraduate students. And with that, we have over 170 different majors. My biggest encouragement for you all is send questions to Joel and I if you have uh, specific majors you're curious about. We're happy to answer any of those questions. And, and really, our goal um, for, for the next eight months or so as you go through this process is to help you get to know not only the academic programs, but also the social and emotional supports on campus and how to make OU as financially feasible as possible. And so um, with these majors, a lot of times students that um, will come to us for meteorology because obviously uh, Oklahoma has crazy weather. We're number one in severe storm research. We're one of six universities in the United States with a comprehensive health science center, just meaning we have all bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees towards any of the seven health science competencies. So if you want to be a physician, a dentist, a physical therapist, etc. Uh, we have a lot of students look at those. And then we have a, a lot of students that also look in the College of Business, the College of Engineering, and the College of Journalism. And so with that, excuse me, with that being said, I'm now going to pass it off to Joel Wilson. Thanks, Sam. As Sam mentioned, we're now test optional and we're test optional for the next five years. So that's really great news. That means that you can apply to OU without having a ACT or SAT score submitted. But with that said, if you believe your test score will enhance your application, we'll encourage you to submit that. It'll also in, uh, possibly increase your opportunity for academic based scholarships at OU as well. So that's some good information there. Here's some dates to remember. The application is now open. 
The FAFSA is also open. That's the free application for federal student aid, and we encourage every single family and student to complete that. Our early action deadline's coming up quickly. That's November 1st, so at the end of this month, if you've not applied to OU, we'd encourage you to submit that application prior to November 1st, but if you miss that deadline, know that our final scholarship deadline is December 15th. We've got over 550 organizations on campus, so if there's something that you're interested in, there's a good chance that we have it here for you. We've got academic organizations and leadership and community service and multicultural, political, religious, um, just social organizations like Skydiving Club and Esports Club. There's something for you here, and I think that's really special. But if there's something that we do not have quite yet, you can actually gather nine of your friends and a faculty advisor and start your own club organization at OU. And I think that's such a cool part of writing your senior story. Now is a great time to grab out your phones or screenshot. This is our website for our virtual resources. We have virtual campus tours. We've got virtual information sessions with academic colleges and student life, ROTC, all those great things. But we've also got in-person tours available to you as well. If you've never been to Norman, it's a quintessential college town. We're just down the road from Oklahoma City Metropolitan, so really a special place to be. So I hope you'll come visit. If you don't, uh, join us virtually, but there's that website to join us. And then finally, follow us at GoToOU. Uh, you follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We want to know your story, and maybe you receive your admissions letter and admissions box in the mail. We'd love to see your exciting reaction to that piece. And then finally, as you have your phone out, scan this barcode to stay connected to OU resources. We'd love to share dates and deadlines, uh, event reminders. We also have scholarships that come out uh, throughout the year as well. So scan that barcode, just stay connected to OU and you'll be able to meet your admissions counselor here at the University of Oklahoma. We look forward to getting to know you and your family and remember to apply before November 1st or the December 15th final scholarship deadline. Awesome, thank you so much, University of Oklahoma. From here, we'll head on over to Oklahoma Panhandle State. Hi, everybody. Give me just one second to get my PowerPoint pulled up for you. My name is Sarah Wood. I am the admissions counselor for Oklahoma Panhandle State University, as well as a recent graduate. So I'm happy to answer questions from a student perspective since I just was one. I wanna start by sharing a little video of campus with you. Sarah, we actually can't hear the video. If you want to reshare and make sure that you check the share computer audio box. That There's will... actually no sound with that one, but thank oh, you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so now that you've seen a little bit of our campus, I'm going to tell you a little bit about us. There's about 1,500 students at OPSU, which gives us a 14 to 1 student to faculty ratio and an average class size of just 16. Those small numbers allow you to have lots of one-on-one -on -one time with your professors, a lot of hands-on activities in classes, um, more things like that. And it's just a really great learning experience here. We're the fastest growing university in our region. Um, that includes tech, um, schools in Texas like WT. Um, it's within 250 miles of the school. Um, we're located right here in the panhandle. I don't know if you can see my little trick, but this is Oklahoma. We're right out here. We have um, alumni in 26 countries as well as all 50 states. So from OPSU, you really can go wherever you want to go. We'll help you get there. And we offer four and a half million in scholarships each year. So we're really affordable. We have three academic colleges, the College of Ag Science and Nursing, the College of Business and Technology, and the College of Arts and Education. Our College of Ag Science and Nursing has three different on-campus facilities. We have the University Farm, the Greenhouse, and we're one of two um, universities in the state of Oklahoma with an all-student-run meat lab. The College of Business and Technology has two clubs that have placed nationally and continue to do so. It brings a lot of different um, events to campus. And then the College of Arts and Education, we offer a scholarship called the Panhandle Promise, where if you agree to teach out here in the Panhandle for two years after you graduate, it's a full ride. 
Um, a little bit about our costs. If you look up in that right hand corner, you can see an average semester. We're super affordable. We don't charge out of state tuition. And we offer, um, in addition to that four and a half million, there's 250 other scholarships with just the checklist application, mark the ones that you apply for and send it in. 89% of our students get some type of financial aid. And we have scholarships that can cover your housing, um, just cover classes within a certain department, scholarships for your GPA, ACT, and so much more. If you want athletic scholarships, I'm happy to connect you with one of our coaches. We have four on-campus housing options, two traditional residence halls. One is all male and one is co-ed, but don't let that scare you. Our numbers are about 50% male, 50% female. Um, the dorms are fully furnished and just a great place to live. I was an RA and I loved it all my time at OPSU. The apartments are set up four bedrooms, a kitchen and a living area. We offer those for juniors and seniors as well as the annexes, that's a duplex. So it's a little bit different style, but still the two bedrooms, full bath, full kitchen. You can see here all the athletics we compete in. We are getting track as soon as the hiring freeze is lifted. Also, almost all of our athletic facilities have been redone or are getting additions right now. So if you're into athletics, please come check us out. We have amazing facilities. Student life at OPSU, we are always very active. There's something to do and everything is free with your student ID. We have 42 clubs and organizations, which is huge for a campus this small. And then my favorite um, part of campus is the Noble Activity Center. It actually has a heated saltwater junior Olympic sized pool, as well as basketball courts, volleyball courts, racquetball, table tennis, a running track, and just a lounge with pool tables, TVs, things like that if working out isn't your thing. Here's the steps you need to take to apply, and I encourage all of you to apply right now. Our first 250 freshman applicants get a free t-shirt, so you're going to want to commit complete that application for admission, activate your student portal, make sure you fill out that FAFSA and then apply for our scholarships as well, apply for housing and then set up your payment plan. And if you have any questions about anything I mentioned today or the application process, please contact me or our director of admissions. Go ahead and just take a screenshot of that whenever you're ready and thank you for your time. Great, thank you so much, Sarah. I'm sorry again about interrupting your video there. Um, before we head on to our next institution, I do wanna make another plug for that Q&A feature. And so if you have any questions, make sure that you're sending them through the Q&A. They can be for institutions you've already heard from, for institutions you're about to hear from. Uh, don't be afraid to take advantage of that Q&A feature. Uh, but from here, we'll go ahead and head on over to our next institution, which is William Woods. Would it be helpful for me to circle back while your presentation loads? If you want, I can go ahead to the next institution and then we can, can bring you on after them while we figure out the presentation. 
Okay, is this, is my screen showing right now? We can see your whole screen, yeah, um, but I, we can't see your presentation. Okay. That's just a gray square. All right, one second here. If you go to slideshow, yeah, that will do it. Looks good. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Spencer Burke. I'm an admissions counselor with William Wentz University in Fulton, Missouri. I work with all incoming students from the state of Oklahoma. So if there's any questions that you guys have, here's all my contact information, my email and my cell phone. A little bit about Fulton, Missouri. We're located in, in central Missouri. We're about 25 miles from Columbia, 25 miles from Jefferson City. We're also about 100 miles from St. Louis, 150 miles from downtown Kansas City. So we're in a very ideal location. One of our most popular majors here at William Woods is American Sign Language, and the Missouri School for the Deaf is located here in Fulton. So that gives our ASL students the opportunity to get some hands-on experience as well as potential internship and employment-wise as well. Fulton has about 13,000 in the community, so it has that small town vibe. In the historic brick district, there's about 50 restaurants and many strip, many shopping areas in the in the downtown area. We also have the Winston Churchill Museum and pieces of the Berlin Wall in the community as well. With William Woods, we have about 2,200 total students. About 900 of those are undergraduate. We have a 13 to one student to faculty ratio, which is gonna give you the opportunity to get to know everyone. And even more importantly, everyone at William Woods University is going to take the time to get to know you by name. We have 54 different clubs and organizations with the university, so an easy way to, to get involved. And by joining some different clubs, organizations, it looks good on your resume. We offer over 60 undergraduate academic programs, with some of our top majors being equestrian science, American Sign Language, business, education, and biology. And our current students reside from 35 states and 11 countries. This is a picture of our university president, Dr. Janae Barnett. She's been our university president since 1990 and has been with William Woods overall since 1973. So this is her 48th year with the university. About 40% of our students are involved in athletics with the university and we have 16 total men's and women's athletic programs. Some unique opportunities that William Woods has to offer. We offer Woods Around the World. This is where a student can study abroad for two weeks during the school year. For next year, we've already confirmed that we're going to Thailand and Cambodia. A student can participate in a program called Project 123. That's where the student completes 123 community service hours, and this will help pay for half of their study abroad trip. And study abroad trips generally range from $3,500 to $4,500. We have a director of career services on campus. Her name's Amy Dittmer. She helps students with finding internships, jobs. That can also be a question for your academic advisor as well. Amy also helps students with putting together their cover letter, resume, and if they'd like to do a mock interview. So a very valuable resource that you want to use during your time here at William Woods University. During the summer, we have a three-week program in June called Freshman Advantage, where students can live on campus and they can earn up to seven college credits prior to them enrolling full-time in the fall starting in August. We offer plus one programs in business administration, healthcare administration, education, and just added a Master of Arts in Organizational Leadership. So a student can earn their bachelor's and master's in five years. 
So that's going to save you not only time, but more importantly, money. One scholarship that we offer upon acceptance is a $5,000 per year late award. This is for getting involved with different activities on campus and by attending different events, such as, such as with guest speakers, a showcase, with equestrian showcases, athletic events, theater performances, that sort of thing. About 60% of our students with William Woods are involved in Greek life. We have four sororities, three fraternities, and they get involved with a number of activities both on and off campus. Our application is free of charge. It's on our website. We are also part of the Common App. And then we also have a CV code. I'll get to that on the next slide and we'll count that as your quick app. The, the FAFSA is now available for the 2021 school year. Our school code 002525. We're test optional for 2021, so we won't require ACT or SAT for acceptance to the university, as long as you have a cumulative GPA of 2.5 or higher. You want to be sure to submit the tuition deposit to lock in your financial aid package, and so that way we can begin the process of getting you registered for classes for the coming fall. There's our CB code right there, so if you want to take a picture of that real quick, we'll count that as your quick app. And our admission is on a rolling basis, and the first day of classes is August 23rd, 2021. If you want to learn more, I would definitely encourage you to schedule an on-campus or virtual visit. And if there's any questions you have after this, feel free to contact me at any point in time. Thank you, guys. Great. Thank you so much, Spencer, for sharing a little bit more about William Woods. Uh, we'll now go ahead and head on over to the University of Science and Arts of Oklahoma. I think you might be on mute. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so um, I am Zoe. My name is Zoe. I'm from the University of Science and Arts of Oklahoma. And I'm just going to tell you a quick little bit about our university and what we have to offer. So we are the only public liberal arts university in Oklahoma, which basically means that we are a lot more affordable. Uh, we do have less than a thousand students currently, which basically means that you're going to have even more one on one attention between you and your faculty, as well as your faculty advisors. Um, so we have a lot of different majors and programs that we do offer, including pre med pre nursing speech pathology deaf education, things like that inside the state of Oklahoma. It is a very, most definitely a very understanding and accepting environment. Um, as a previous student at this college, I can tell you that this is the most comfortable and happiest place I've been. Uh, that being said, we do have different options for acceptance and admissions. As you can see, we have option A, B, and C. Please keep in mind that we are working currently to get a ACT COVID waiver which essentially will mean that if you meet option B, we will not require your ACT scores whatsoever. So um, that just means more money you can save and less stress on you, um, especially during this time. That being said, we do have uh, an, a separate option, even for transfers, we have this for all students that apply to our university. And it is what we call our right to try option, which essentially means that if you don't meet all of these um, criteria, then you can still be accepted into the university. You will be sent to our uh, admissions uh, committee in which you will be evaluated and accepted. So our estimated cost of attendance is about $8,000. Please do not freak out. Um, when you talk about investing in college in the future, you're talking about investing thousands of dollars within yourself and within your future. Uh, please keep in mind that the student fees and the textbook fee has been taken down drastically 
We've put into different, uh, put into place different um, financial aid measures in which we are waiving several deposits, including the housing deposit. One less cost for you guys to have to worry about. Uh, again, we're trying to make this as affordable as possible for you, and we want to help you as much as possible, especially during this very, very difficult time. We do offer a wide variety of USAO scholarships. One I do want to speak to you about is the President's Leadership Scholarship. Um, it consists of the only requirements are a 20 ACT score and a 3.0 GPA. So the standards, the academic standards aren't nearly as high and this way um, we can have a lot of applicants at once. And please keep in mind that this is a smaller university, which means that you have a smaller, a much smaller pool of uh, scholarship uh, applicants, meaning that you have a higher chance of getting these scholarships simply by applying. And there's certainly nothing for you to lose. Um, we are the only university in the state of Oklahoma that offers a fast track program in which students can take summer courses free, completely free up to 14 credit hours. So I strongly, strongly urge you to uh, really take this into consideration. This will save you a lot of money as well as getting you to graduate a lot earlier, especially if you're looking into uh, graduate programs like pre-med and pre-nursing programs that you will have to go on to other universities to get. Um, you want to try to save as much money as you possibly can now in order to save for the, the big investment that comes once you get your undergraduate degree. So this is a kind of an evaluation of our scholarship formula, how we evaluate you for scholarships. Please feel free to take uh, photos with your phones. Um, you can apply for any of our scholarships at usao.edu slash scholarships. Uh, our first deadline will be in November and our second will be in February. It is really important that you guys uh, please take this into consideration. Please feel free to apply. Again, you don't have anything to lose and we do have a smaller pool of students applying for these. So if you meet these requirements, if you're really dedicated, if you want to get your bachelor's degree, you're interested in a four year degree, please look our direction. We are, we're happy to help and we wanna make sure that you are as comfortable as possible. So we do have a variety of new scholarships, including transfer academic scholarships, specifically for transfer students. We're really focused on your success rate. We wanna make sure that you um, acquire the credits that you need to graduate and to essentially get you to walk across the stage. So it is a really, really good opportunity to take, uh, to take a look at and really, really think about. So we have a variety of student life. As you can see, we do have a brand new gym at the top right there, a uh, brand new renovated gym. It is uh, fully renovated and ready to go. Most of our athletic um, uh, sports teams usually use it for practice, for um, conditioning, things like that. You can see our baseball boys in the top left. Our baseball and softball teams have been ranked in the top Five in the NAIA for the past five years. So they are doing very, very well. If you guys are any interested at all with baseball or softball, please let us know. As you can see, there is an outdoor pool. This is our most coveted residential area. It is known as Lawson Court. It has a 24 hour outdoor pool that has access anytime and it is open now. COVID uh, restrictions do apply. We are social distancing and we are wearing masks on campus. <laughs> We have one very, very large event each year in addition to many others, but our biggest event is Drover Stock in which we have our students and students from all over the state come and they draw all over our oval. Um, everybody has an opportunity to walk around, take a look at the arts, the arts festival that we host, as well as take part in it. We do have um, competitions. We get to have uh, sports uh, events. So it's a lot of fun and a great way to interact with new people. So IDS is a core curriculum that is singular to a liberal arts education. So essentially our interdisciplinary studies will be our required courses at our campus. They do transfer to other universities as well as uh, other universities can transfer their credits to us. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about is our study abroad option. Within my four years of attending USAO, I was had the opportunity to travel to six different countries. 
I achieved college credit for each trip that I took as well as a great deal of experience. Uh, I got to meet a large variety of cultures, ethnicities, peoples, understanding uh, third world countries versus first world countries. It was a very, very uh, informational experience and I would not trade it for the world. We do have one uh, main scholarship, an opportunity to study abroad in Wales which is uh, for about five months. It's known as our Brad Henry Scholarship, as well as other study abroad opportunities. You can apply for travel grants just as you apply for scholarships. Uh, this way you don't have to pay nearly as much to travel and um, a lot of your fees and things like that are included. And we're actually going Oops. to need to head on over to our next institution. So if you wanna go ahead and share your contact info or anything, go ahead. That, that's it. I'm actually good to go. Just uh, be sure to follow us on Instagram or Facebook if you guys have any more questions. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, and Thank from you. here, we'll go ahead and head on over to our final institution of the session, which is Murray State. Hi, everyone. I am going to talk about Murray State College. So Murray State College is located in the small southern town of Tishomingo, Oklahoma. Murray is a two-year junior college, but in those two years, you can get some awesome program degrees we have so many great things to offer all of y'all. We keep our class sizes relatively small to 20 to 24 students. That way you get to know everybody in your class. You get to know your professor. The professor knows your name and recognize you. And when, they, when we see you across campus, you know, we can wave and ask how everything is going. And everybody across the board at Murray wants you to succeed, whether you're in the nursing program and taking a literature class, everybody wants you to do well to achieve your degree. Murray State College is an open door policy campus, meaning that there is no minimum ACT score required to enroll in classes at Murray. With that being said, you do have to have a, an ACT score and that plays a role in your application to some of the specialty programs that Murray has to offer. For Murray State College, you can go anywhere. Come to Murray for two years and transfer to one of the other great universities that we've heard from tonight. Some of the programs that, nursing ha nurse, that Murray has to offer in the Allied Health Department is nursing, physical therapist assistant, occupational therapy assistant program. All three, it is an application process to apply and get selected. You can become an RN in two years. Two other programs that Murray specializes in is a gunsmithing program, and there are only six in the nation, so it's pretty cool that there's one located in Tishomingo at Murray State College. And then we have the vet nursing program as well. Some of the tuition waiver and scholarships that Murray has to offer students is the President Scholar Program or PSP, which is a leadership based scholarship and you as the student, um, it is phenomenal. You're active in events on campus, you're active in the community, you help raise money for the college, for fundraisers, for families in the area at Christmas time, um, you travel, you just, you're in a great leadership position and it is, it's an awesome program. I was a part of PSP and it's definitely had an influence on who I am today. There are concurrent tuition waivers, plenty of foundation scholarships, all kinds of the financial aid and the Rising Star Scholarships, which is a concurrent student um, scholarship. The application process is super easy. It's all online at mscok.edu. You can apply right now. There is a $10 application fee. And then once you apply and get accepted, you would turn in your transcript, your ACT or SAT scores and your immunization record to the registrar's office. And then you would meet with your academic advisor and get enrolled in some classes. So Murray offers classes in the fall, spring and summer semesters. Classes are offered three different ways, those being in person, online, and via Zoom. We do have select degrees that are 100% online, so you can get your associate's degree you know, from home and never even come to Tisch. Pretty cool. 
We also offer eight week block classes and we have intercessions in May and July. There are several housing options on campus. We have the Aggie Suites, which are three three story individual buildings. Um, typically that's female dorms and there are five individual rooms with two bathrooms. We have McKee Hall, which is a typically a male dorm. It's three stories. There are two to a room and there is a brand new really remodeled um, community bathroom on each floor along with a common area with a TV and a couch. The Aggie Flats is the off-campus housing, single occupancy, a full bathroom, and that is generally where our gunsmithing students stay just because their schedules are a bit different than everybody else on campus and they just feel the most comfortable out there. We have a newly remodeled laundry facility on campus located in the Student Housing Student Life Building, which the, all the Murray resident housing students have access to. Speaking of student life, we have tons of clubs and organizations that you can be part of. The Aggie Ambassadors under Student Life help put on all these events throughout the semester. And that does consist of homecoming, plenty of transfer and career fairs, awareness and prevention events, movie nights, cookouts, fun runs, all kinds of social media giveaways that you can all enter and win and do fun scavenger hunts. Um, athletics that Murray has, we have women and men basketball, women and men golf, women and men soccer, baseball, softball, and esports, which is online gaming, and that is new, and it is a scholarship opportunity. You do have to be a full-time college student at Murray, but you do not have to live or play on campus if your internet is up to par. So Murray is located in Tishomingo. A few fun facts about Tish. It's the home of Blake Shelton, um, and he has his old, old red restaurant and gift shop, which is really good. The indie cinema, cute little movie theater downtown, they play all the hit new movies. We have Blue River, Fishing and Hunting, The Wildlife Refuge, and Tish is a small town community. Um, and when you're part of the Murray State College family, you become part of the Tishomingo family. And so if, if you're from a small town and you're worried about moving off to college and, and losing that community involvement, Tishomingo welcomes you with open arms. And we are 15 minutes from Medill Walmart. We are doing in-person tours, so come see us. I would love to show you around campus. You can schedule those online. Um, just go to the search bar, type in tours, or take a picture of the screen, and it'll take you right to there. You can contact me with any additional questions. Um, my email, phone, text number, and then our social media accounts are on there. And then if you will scan this QR code for me, um, it'll just take you to a, a Google form and you can ask all the questions you want about Murray and we can get everything answered. If you have any additional questions, please put them in the Q&A box. Um, if you want to know more about a specialty program, we'll get those answered for you. Thank you all. Great. Thank you so much, Katie, for sharing a little bit more about Murray State. Um, and thank you to all of you for sharing a little bit more about each of your institutions. Um, so, if anyone still has questions, please feel free to send those through the Q&A. Uh, but in the meantime, while you might be thinking of those last minute uh, questions, I do want to give a big thank you to each of you for joining. Um, and I want to let you know that there is a quick survey that will appear on your screen as soon as this session ends. If you don't mind taking just a moment to fill that out, it's really helpful for us to get a little bit of feedback on these types of sessions. It helps us get uh, better as we move along. Uh, remember that there are additional sessions that you can sign up for throughout the rest of the week and the coming days and that the session was recorded and that that recording will be available online in the next few days as well. Um, so don't be afraid to circle back to any of this information, uh, including our representatives contact information. So I don't see any other questions that came through. Uh, so with that, we can go ahead and wrap things up. So a big thank you to each of our college representatives that were a part of this session for sharing a little bit of knowledge about each of your institutions. And a big thank you to all of you for joining in to learn a little bit more as well. Um, I hope that you all have a wonderful evening and that we'll continue to interact throughout the rest of your college search. So long. <laughs>